In our previous video, we've understood the concept behind calculating the area under a simple curve. Now let's just apply what we've learned till now to solve an example based on it. The example asks us to find the area enclosed by the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. Now x square plus y square equal to a square is the equation of a circle with center at 0 comma 0. So with the help of the equation, can you tell me its radius? Yes, the radius of the given circle will be a. Hence, we will mark the points b, 0 comma a and a, a comma 0 as shown. The area enclosed by this entire circle will be equal to 4 times the area of the region AOBA. So if we find this area, then we can easily find the entire area enclosed by the circle. Now the area of the region AOBA is the area enclosed by the circle between the x-axis and the coordinates x equal to 0 and x equal to a. Now, if we consider a vertical strip of height y and width dx as shown, then the area of the region AOBA will be equal to the integration 0 to a y dx. Thus, the area of the entire circle will be given by 4 times the integration 0 to a y dx. Now, from the given equation of the circle, we can write y equal to plus or minus under root a square minus x square. Since the region AOBA lies in the first quadrant, y can be taken as positive. So on substituting, we get the integration as shown. Now the integration of under root a square minus x square dx looks familiar. Can you recall? Yes. It's one of the useful results that we've derived using the biparts rule. So can you tell me what is the integration of under root a square minus x square dx? Yes, it is 1 by 2x under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a plus c. Hence on applying this result and substituting the limits, we get the area enclosed by this circle as pi a square. So that's how you find the area under a simple curve. We hope that you've enjoyed this video.